mean, the difficult decisions to me is all about leadership, and um, and sometimes there there are just there's just not enough wriggle room in a budget to 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 keep within the the, the levels of income. So there are difficult decisions to made, and usually the difficult decisions are around staffing. So if there are issues where staff have to have to go because you just have to reduce the, the staffing bill, then then it's about leaders making those tough decisions and making them as soon as possible and not just dragging the feet. Because the one thing I have learned in education and leadership over the many years is that when you've got a major problem, it doesn't go away if you don't address it as soon as you can. And, uh, and interestingly enough, when I was a leader in a school and occasionally we had to let people go, you're, you're often, because people in education are decent people, you often feel really bad. What are the rest of the staff going to say about me when I've had to release a member of staff? Um, and, but what I found, nine out of ten times, is when you do let somebody go who maybe isn't, who maybe isn't good enough, at the end of the day we're trying to deliver an outstanding service to the kids of our school. And if we've got somebody that isn't good enough and we've got financial pressures as well, then clearly we need to do something about it. But when you make that decision and you do release somebody, nine times out of ten you have staff coming up to say and you're saying to you, what took you so long? Not, you're a horrible person, you've had to get rid of somebody. It's about what took you so long because we've been carrying them for a long time. So, so you've got to clearly make those tough decisions and leaders have been looked at by the rest of the team to make those tough decisions.